Hello YouTube and welcome to your sixth Google Chrome extension development tutorial and in this tutorial we'll be writing something called Google Chrome URL overrides now what are these actually they are pretty cool and if you follow this tutorial carefully then at the end of this tutorial you will be able to create your own new tab pages that means whenever a user clicks on new tab then you can show anything you want here or your own history pages you can customize the history page using APIs of Chrome and your own bookmark pages so to do that first of all we have to declare certain things in our manifest.json so that we can ask for permissions from Google Google Chrome basically to do the actions so first of all go to manifest.json and write Chrome URL overrides and put it anywhere make sure the syntax of the file remains correct and down here specify the pages you want to override or basically page in Google Chrome currently you could only rewrite three of the pages those are history page the bookmark manager and the new tab and one important thing to note down is per extension with one single extension you can only rewrite one of these three pages that means uh, with one extension you cannot rewrite two pages or three pages or like that so with one extension you can only rewrite one page so let's go ahead and type new tab right here okay uh, in the second value what we have to provide is the HTML file or any file we want to show when the user clicks or user opens a new tab so let's say I create new tab dot HTML right here let's go ahead and create a new tab file or why not copy this contents and just remove the script and make sure you give the title you want to because this would appear in the new tab let's give it my first chrome extension and let's save this here in the path which is new tab.html okay we are good to go now go to your extensions and just simply reload your extension and voila now we have permissions to rewrite the new tab and now if you open your new tab then as you can see it does not show me the traditional new tab of Google Chrome and I have rewritten the new tab with this HTML document now whatever I write in here would appear down here automatically as in a new tab so you could actually do wonders right here you could show your creativity launch it on chrome store and you could also place your ads i don't know if it is allowed or not but it could be a good way to monetize and you could do much of the stuff right here and like showing the recent news feed of user by authenticating using oaths to facebook's and twitter and like that embedding a search system but you can actually make it pretty cool and better than the traditional new tab system so that was about new tab and the other two pages we try we can try is the bookmarks and the history one so first of all let's try the history one and if I reload the extension okay so I should also explain you when should you reload the extension and when should you not reload the extension and it would work pretty fine so you have to reload the extension whenever you make changes to manifest.json okay so on every load this file does not the Google Chrome browser does not read the manifest.json file on your every click on or your every load it just reads it once when you reload the extension and store it in the memory so whenever you make changes to this file you have to reload the extension however if you are working with certain static files which are just used as it is oops. 
which I just use add as it is right there then you need not to reload your extension so now we have supplied history as new tab page so let's see what happens if we click reload and visit the history page as you can see the history page is override overridden by our new tab.html page and obviously you don't want users to see just a simple freaking hello world message on their history page and you would like to customize and show actually what they browse and for those we have a lot of APIs in Google Chrome but I won't be going in those APIs right now if you are interested then you could go to Google Chrome developers network and look at those APIs and start building your own history and bookmarks manager so recently I developed an extension for one of my friends I don't think I have installed it uh, let's see do I have the extension installed no I don't have I guess but actually what ex what that extension does is that whenever you click on the new tab it has got a permission set here uh, as new tab so what it did is that whenever you click the new tab right here then the extension name was basically quotes so whenever you click the new tab a random quote appeared here with the author name in very big font size and those were really such inspire inspiring quotes actually so you should also create some of those extensions like those and you could actually customize this page just like a normal HTML page you would do so no need to explain it right there and you could go and link your style sheets file and script files and do wonders with these override permissions and make sure they're fast because users don't like their new tab page to be slow actually which is already offline so try avoiding any connection with the live internet and keeping all the stuff offline so this was about chrome url overrides and in the next tutorial i don't know what we'll be discussing but as i told you in the earlier tutorial my next tutorial would be awesome so stay tuned and thank you for watching this tutorial and don't forget to subscribe